Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Bryony and I'm one half of the Indecisive Readers. Today I'm here to do like a quick discussion video of Period by Emma Barnett. Uh, this was the first kind of group pick for the Tits, Sticks and Feminist Bits book club. Not technically the group pick because I did choose it to kind of start it up, but it was the first one that we read. I'm just going to quickly go through my thoughts. I don't have loads to say. I might mention my discussion questions at the end but um we have a discord chat and i will probably like just put them there because they're quite general they're more specifically about kind of well they are less specifically about the book and more about like periods generally but yeah let me just get in and just talk about my thoughts so the first thing is i rated it three stars it was good but not kind of mind-blowing. I did enjoy it, but also I feel like a lot of the stuff that was mentioned I knew already. I don't think that's necessarily a fault of the book. I thought it was really educational. I thought it was really interesting. I think me knowing stuff was more kind of a reflection on the fact that I've tried to kind of learn that stuff myself, which good on me, maybe. I quite like that it wasn't all white feminism. There was kind of an emphasis on white feminism because the author was white, most of her friends were white, but I did appreciate the fact that it did kind of branch out a bit. It did branch out in topics a bit. Whilst it didn't necessarily cover things that were new to me, it covered them in a new way. So it talked about like period sex, which obviously I have thought about. It covered like wanted and unwanted blood. It also covered period poverty, which obviously you think of kind of the young girls in India who have to hide in a shed um, once a month and the shed blows down and they die in it. That's kind of the period poverty you imagine. But the focus on period poverty in this was actually on period poverty in the UK because that is where the author is from. So it's talking about how like many children at school in the UK miss school because they can't afford periods and they just have to like roll up a sock or roll up tissue or something in their pants and just hope that gets them through the day and I just that was horrible like I can't believe that that's still happening and I can't believe that that's happening in the UK which is meant to be a well-developed country and then the fact that one we're still having to pay for it but two we are being taxed that's a big thing she talks about the fact that there's like a tampon tax but that's one of the few things that I noticed had changed um, because as of the 31st of January when we leave the EU we don't have to pay that anymore but we do still have to pay it on like what's it called on reusable ones so like period underwear we still have to use it on which sucks if we're being honest. The tone of the book was interesting she had a lot of anecdotes and I really liked the anecdotes there was one particular one about a uh, friend who nearly went to jail for her period and I enjoyed those, I enjoyed how she kind of branched out and was able to explore these things but using other people. Um, I didn't like some of the humour things. She had to comment after every pun, saying no pun intended, when clearly it was because otherwise you wouldn't keep saying it. And um, then she spoke about pads as this almost archaic, torturous device and tampons as these saviours and mostly they were the two that she spoke about she did briefly mention period underwear like a couple of paragraphs here and there but there was no mention that I remember about the cup which I thought was quite not outdated but quite surprising because a lot of people know about it and presumably she wrote this in about 2018 and I knew about period cups then because I'd been using them for like a few months and I wasn't writing a book about periods even I knew and so I thought that was quite surprising um yeah I didn't like how she was talking about pads and tampons and it frustrated me a bit but yeah I, I did enjoy it I thought it was very interesting it was less informative than I thought so I rated it about three stars because it just didn't blow me away but let's put the questions up just in case so the first question is do you talk to men 
and I suppose people generally about your period. Second question, would you like period leave at work or do you think there's an alternative policy that would work? This was like another one of the discussions, so I think it's in China they offer a period leave, so specifically like time off during that month. Now not every woman would need that, not every woman would want to take it, wouldn't want to be not necessarily judged for their period, but wouldn't necessarily want men to assume they're weaker because they're on their period and I, I I'm kind of of the category that feel like men would do that, at least certain men would, and so I feel like there should maybe be a part of sick leave that will cover that. Uh, next question, do you feel like the book is educational or affirmative? Now what does that question mean, Bryony? Oh, I think I just mean uh, did it educate you or did it just like agree with the things you already knew. Next question, did you get any period education at school? I know that the boys and the girls, like most people, were just separated out. Boys got one talk, we got uh, this is what happens to your body and I think that was it. Like we didn't really get any talks about like sex ed for women, just got the uh, condom on the banana kind of thing. And final question isn't really a question but apparently there was a 1946 Disney film about periods and I want to know if anyone looked it up and if so was it really bad but yeah that's just my quick flyby opinions on period i would be interested to know your opinions if you have read it if you want to read it if you want to read it but didn't have time this month feel free to join our discord and just come back to it we have lots of different chats set up for like different themes and so we just kind of jump in and out and have chats have feminist chats and it it makes me very happy. I'm so happy that there are lots of people around me that also like doing it. And then um, next month's theme is Forgotten Women and the book we are reading is The Five by Hallie Rubenhold. I read this in February and so I won't be reading it again this month but I do have some other books I want to read. I'm hoping to read something by Sappho and maybe a book called uh, A History of the World with One book back in because I feel like that's a very fitting theme for this month. But yeah, if you enjoyed, please let me know. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.